I'm basically going to just give you a quick run through uh, the support we've been doing to support the economy. It's about, it breaks down into about six areas. So first of all, business support. Um, you'll know, sure, because you're on these calls. We have a weekly call with yourselves. Um, also the Federation of Small Businesses and the Plymouth Manufacturers Group, which I find incredibly useful. Um, getting your needs and your need for lobbying um, uh, in those meetings has been invaluable <clears throat> in us taking the conversation to a national uh, level. Um, we've had um, on our Invest in Plymouth website, we've had an 811% increase uh, in the number of uh, uh, people using that site. We've, uh, we've seen about 14,500 sessions in the last two months. Incredible. Uh, we've dealt with casework from over 400 business callers. And in terms of major employers, we've supported 83 uh, of our largest businesses. Now, uh, the smaller uh, business grants, well, I mean, we've, um, we've done a lot of work on that, as you, as you quite rightly said. I mean, we've paid now £39.5 million of our allocation out. That's 86%. Um, so that's gone out to about 3,275 businesses. Um, We've taken 2,697 phone calls and we are forensically chasing uh, what we believe to be 532 eligible businesses that haven't applied for the money but could get it. Um, I spoke to Steve Hughes from City Centre Company this morning and they've narrowed it down, he tells me, now to four companies in the City Centre that are eligible that haven't applied. So uh, everybody's working hard on this. Now, um, I mentioned lobbying earlier on, and I think it's important to say that um, I, I sit on a, a weekly call, uh, as does Richard, Richard Stevens, uh, on the LEP. Um, and we've been talking with Carl, uh, the new chair of the LEP, about how the LEP can support us at this time in terms of lobbying. Um, and we've been, uh, I think, fairly successful in getting them um, to um, to have an agenda that reflects the particular needs of Plymouth businesses. Um, I'll give you two examples of where that's happened. Um, on fishing, for example, which is very important, as you know, uh, to the city's economy. Um, our lobbying was pivotal in securing another a, a new £10 million marine management organisation fund to support the fishing fleet in terms of boats and marketing. Um, I've um, we've we've had a fantastic uh, call for fish um, website and service set up by the fishing community themselves, supported by the city council. We put a an officer in to help, and uh, that's now gone nationwide. There are some twelve um, uh, or so fourteen uh, call for fish around the country, which is a, a brilliant uh, uh, development, and it's helping to keep. Uh, some uh, a lot of fishers fishing at the moment. Um, I've even done recipes online for those of you of a nervous disposition. I wouldn't watch those, but um, if you are feeling very brave, then they are available uh, for you to watch. Um, we've also um, been working hard on lobbying for uh, gaps in business support. Stuart, you mentioned uh, a number of the ones that you'd been raising, and of course. Um, we've been very successful, I think, through our lobbying, uh, through the local government association, Bays and others, um, in terms of uh, getting the schemes widened, uh, getting eligibility criteria relaxed, and, and bringing in more help and support. Um, Call for Fish, I mentioned. Um, I just wanted you to, um, to know that um, they've had a million hits on their website. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's absolutely amazing, but it's also given um, a platform for Plymouth um, nationwide through a number of uh, TV and radio appearances and, and newspapers. Um, most lately, we had a, uh, Harris of the Guardian has done a film on how we've been uh, running the city during the lockdown. 
Um, again, 17 minutes of your life you'll never get back. I'm in it a bit. But um, more importantly, there are some really brilliant Plymouth people in it. Um, there is a, a section from the ICU in Plymouth in the hospital featuring two nurses. And if you don't shed a tear after watching that, there's something the matter with you. So I would recommend it, even those of you who um, aren't Guardian readers, um, to have a look at that film. It's very revealing. Um, shop, shop for Plymouth has started uh, based on the core for fish model. This is to help retailers, not just in the city centre and the waterfront, although it does obviously rely very heavily on both, bid, uh, both of our bids, uh, but it's available to all shops in Plymouth. Um, we started off the first weekend with 48 retailers. Now we've got over 150 retailers and uh, it's working really well. A lot of people are, are using it to, to, to keep the shops in Plymouth um, um, open, open in theory, if not in practice, and certainly trading. So that's uh, a good thing. And then um, obviously the next piece is recovery. We, we, we're, not, we're not calling it recovery because we think it'll be a while before Plymouth is back to firing on all cylinders, as you've implied. Um, there's going to be a long all out of this and it may come in one wave it may came in two waves it may come in a num come in in a number of waves over the next time so we launched last week our our recovery and reset project which we're calling resurgum um, we thought it sort of resonated very well with um, what happened in Plymouth uh, following the uh, the end of the Second World War and the need to rebuild and regenerate and recover Plymouth. And we thought, given this economic hit that we're get, gonna get, because uh, it's not hit us in 100% uh, yet, um, it could be the most catastrophic economic uh, hit that we've had, probably not uh, since before the war. I mean, people have been likening it potentially to to the, the 30s. And so we want, we want to get across to people that it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard, but the council is there, the council is alongside, the council is wanting to help. Um, and we'll be working with fantastic partners that we already have uh, to develop a sector-based strategy. Um, we'll be using, obviously, the Growth Board, the Plymouth Growth Board, which uh, Richard uh, chairs. And uh, we'll obviously be working with partners like uh, Creative Plymouth and uh, Plymouth Culture, and all the other boards that we have um, to help us with our with our sectoral response strategy, all overlain um, by the um, inevitable um, environmental uh, work we're going to have to do on climate change. So uh, a Green New Deal, if you like, um, will be part and parcel of our resurgence strategy.